suffer from. His case is that of a terminal sickness that has defied medical knowledge and whatever the science of the It automatically means that the man is not the best it comes. I can hear this one because of the bad You need to do something about this. A man who is not against the cause, a man who has to be against the cause that the cause has destroyed, why is he still sitting as the king who reigns over the world? Why? I want you to tell me immediately why you have concluded that this man is not against the cause. Do I need to explain anything for you to know? It is very clear and it is open. It is, it is done everywhere. Doctors give up on this man because they were unable to diagnose what this man was. All the equipment in the hospital, all of them went dry. They were unable to pinpoint what this man was. Do you know why all the equipment went dry? Because the girls are walking. The girls are moving.
looking at me as if I'm It's not as if I don't have you. Because how do you mean? You see, what you said that the man told you has a very big striking resemblance to what the doctor told me the last time he came to see my father. And what did the doctor say? The doctor said that my father's condition is not just mere elephantiasis, that it has gone beyond medical science and that we should explore other options. You see? That's what I'm talking about. If your qualified authority, like a medical doctor, advised you to explore other options, what are you waiting for? Why are you acting like all is well? You see, the problem here is that my mom believes that these other options are rooted in veganism, and she's totally against veganism. of this man to go ask a common tree, a mere tree, tree. How? Oh, not possible. Princess, if you don't do that, like you claim, then you do something. We know he's incapacitated by the fantasy. And it's not just a hint that he misses. You and I know that it's strange. And this strange man has advised on what to do. Why don't you do something?
Inspector handling the case of the gruesome murder of my friend. This was serious because I cannot sit and watch you dismiss a principal suspect with such a flimsy excuse as this. Sorry, Mr. Striving for beauty, her smile has no look. That is strange wind. Friends. Saving the lives of innocent citizens. I, I don't, I don't understand you. You mean trying to give a second thought to paganism just because of what a total stranger told you? With all due respect, I want you to understand the issues of the matter. The man that appeared here to give warning is not just an ordinary man. Okay, fine. I checked with the guards at the gate. Nobody saw him enter. Nobody saw him leave. That means the man is a spirit. And you listening to yourself. So you're telling me that you now believe in the appearance of spirits? Mom, mom, can you, can you please just relax and understand me? Mom, just relax and understand me. Okay, fine. See, ever before this man appeared to me, had gone to heaven and say exactly the same thing he told me. And the issue here involves the healing of your husband. So just try and see from the angle and show me the location of this tree. I am so disappointed. So you mean after so many years in the university, you believe that a man tree can actually hear your prayers and do something for you? Me, this has gone beyond what I believe as a person. Of course, you know I'm not the type that just whatever thing I hear, fine. So why are you bothering me with what a certain stranger told me about a tree? Listen, your father is suffering from a terminal disease and I am believing God for his healing. I was born into a Christian home and I am still a Christian, please. I do not want to talk about whatever OCC we want. Please, please. And where do you think you're going? A stranger told me that a tree can heal my father. And I believe the stranger. Now you have refused to show me the location of this tree. And I said, fine, no problem. I am going to get that tree. Lee. Lee. For goodness sake, who 
this girl here. What's he saying? Is that my evil dream that the missionaries all wanted? Yes, but even before I got married, why would anyone make reference to it now? Sorry, Ma. What did I do? Why are you already your sins as a Christian when you are not doing anything? Trying to bring the body of Christ to ridicule. Why? Your Majesty, what have I done to warrant all these things and sins? You told my daughter that is. Sure. I told her about the strange man who appeared to me, and I told her everything the man said to me. But I never told her where the man came from, because the man didn't even tell me where he came from. Let me ask you something. Assuming there was an OCC trip, and you were asked to go there and bring the body, would you do that? Well, it depends on what I'm asked to do. If it's something that will save our land or the life of somebody else, I'll definitely do it. You know what I have just concluded? Anyway, you are one of the people who have been deceiving my daughter. Put your hands forward to see the every relationship. Your Majesty, don't you think you are judging me in a hurry? You don't know me. I judge you as well. Listen, if you want to Don't you ever drag any member of your family into it. Hello? Why is she saying all this? Does it mean she doesn't want Lynn to do something that will help the father? Okay, why buy me from seeing my friend? Why? Whereas I didn't open for him. Are you telling me that I need to try and my house? Calm down, please. 
interesting. You want this clean genuine in that case? That young man you were interrogating is not responsible for the murder. Is that what the story you wishes not saying? How can you double it to the police investigation? Say it's not such. You don't have to expose my young family to this from your boss. I didn't know what much about spirits. But that man that left our house was a spirit. He helped you with this continue with that case and released the guy. He, he asked me to call you and he asked you to release this song and release this case. Yes. This is unbelievable. This is a person that is threatening the life of my own child. Silas, I cannot call you until you call my husband. Ask him, is his second name Amici? Is your second name Amici? Only my late father that called me. And you're right, his name is Amici. He's only his late father that called me. That his late father just left our house. He was the one that gave the money. Okay, ask him again. Is it for Obinam? Are you for Obinam? Can you please tell me what is going on? I need to know who you're talking to. And yes, I'm not for Obinam. Show my late father this night. You must tell her to do exactly what I said. Why on earth would my wife do what your late father said? My father was not alone. He was the most powerful native doctor that I've ever lived in Morocco. He died many years ago. Yeah. 
and ask it to heal my father for me. No. First thing that I have to tell you is I was secret mission. So missionary so several years you can tell you what. That is what it was. Now on the second side, I want to tell you to give you the time to understand the fact that your father, that is to say the king, is passing through this very strange stage of the land of kindness and strange spirit. Because you're better than God. Of course, I can prove that you are better than you. And it is the God that has been feeding your father from this strange spirit. And he has to confess to the elders in camp what is the that force the gods to inflict him with the sickness. If he does that, he knows the Lord. I cannot get it. Are you very sure of what you're saying? And are you very, very sure of what you're saying? What you're saying? Do I have water in my mouth? I don't have water in my mouth. I'm telling you what is happening. You don't know it. I'm the one that knows and I'm the one that is telling you. As long as your father is not willing to confess what he did in secret and force the gods Say that I should stay away from you. 
And I'm really surprised why she did that kind of honor. Well, I don't know why she said what she said, but let me tell you that if you know who is the partner, you owe it to me that my father is well. Lynn, I really don't want to be your mother's man. Tell you a bit now, call. What did he say? He said he called your number consistently and you didn't hear, so he actually called me to tell me that he was very I left my phone in the car while I was still in the city. So I saw the list go, but I was thinking that he was going to come back. Yeah. Well, I'll try and call him again. I think he actually said he's in town and he'll be coming to the palace today. And I'm not supposed to tell you this. I was seated here watching the television with a man I had never seen before. And I know I love the new dog. And I was like, how come? Deliberately, I know our house is under attack. So I started praying. Then the man I was asked me to relax. I can't describe this. He was wearing all white, kind of church material. Red cow, and he was looking so scared. <sighs> the same man had appeared to us earlier in the station. What are you waiting for? Why have you not believed the young man that you, that you arrested?
situation for now. The king is sick, and getting him back on his feet is what matters to me most, not marriage. Your father died, and we considered your marriage, and admitted you as a carpet spender of the carpet. Just because of your father's profile, now why are you such a terrible carpet spender? Eh? Is this an act of the fuckery of your father? And look at your man, at least you could drink and go tight. And then shortly, what happened? What did you tell the princess? You know, what I told the princess was for the eyes of the princess and for the eyes of the princess in Rome. I don't know why you are coming me, and I don't know why you are asking me. She told the princess that the king intended the cross, and that his present condition is as a result of his offended gods. So why are you standing as if this is the first time you are hearing that? Didn't I tell you the same thing in your house? Why are you saying things that you cannot prove? The trigger of it. Am I the one that will prove it? But why not understand? There is already an allegation against the king that you have I expect you as to you to use your position in the kingdom to force the king to stand for the king of the king. That he is innocent of my allegation. I must be sincere with you. You are talking around nonsense. Let me warn you, and be mindful of the kind of information you circulate to the king. No, we're just gonna be. No, are you telling me that you don't believe me? If God says I don't believe you, and do realize that nobody believes you, you are the person that is alleging that the king of 
even there they come. That is why he's suffering. And so, as long as you are not ready to prove your allegation, then you better shut your mouth and stop spreading dangerous rumors that you cannot prove. And you will know. You like the way you handle this matter. One guess what? Go back to your master and bear in mind that I have not done anything against the cause of this matter. Thank you. 
I'm surprised they still allow you guards to wear this ancient uniform and portray you like a primitive natives. Not to worry. When I become king, then you're gonna wear designer suits and jackets. Fashion items. We are not models that display designer wares. Our work here is sacred and as such. We don't need your designer suits and jackets. How dare you talk to me in that tone? You aware you're talking to the incoming king? I'm aware you are here to see the princess. Let me take you where you're waiting for. What the hell do you mean by take me where I'll wait? Why are you doing everything possible to get me angry this morning? Now, if you're not careful, I'm going to terminate your contract in this palace. Take me straight into her bed. I came this morning. I must say I'm impressed with the appearance of beings, unlike you guys who are so shaped by the interest. I'm happy you are impressed with the beings. She's here to keep you company and make you comfortable while I go on to the princess in your presence. Thank you. 
prefer ordinary. Yes, because it's structured here, thank you. Very comfortable as you with the pieces. Get in on my nerves and get out of my presence. said this tree is their sacred tree so you are wondering what my business will be with the tree located in my home or wait in Gino. What do I have to do with it? Granite. Granite of people always feel that they are better than us. Do you think they are better? But please, I don't want to be dragged into this discrimination politics if you need to kill me. Discrimination politics. Without events, there will be no history. The first king that will show me true form and integrity was a man from Milan. Our own brother. Yes, from Milan. Are you really sure? How is that possible? Zenjikoka was murdered by a convicted woman. They murdered him and started this discrimination against him. They were afraid they were going to come to avenge the death of him. The gods, the gods are not asleep. The gods now have started to set him straight. Stop. 
rubbish that has been carried in since I came here. And what on what do you call rubbish? I sense a deliberate attempt to provoke me this morning. And I have every reason to believe that you set that plan in motion. Why are you resisting me? Ever since you came into this palace this morning, have you bothered to know how my father is faring? I'm sorry, little father. I you know can ever get worse at all. The father's condition has just defied everything. I'm so it's good. Just let the whole plan go. You are the one I love. You are my interest. Getting married to you is my business. Most times when I listen to you, do you know what I hear? A man who is not very intelligent and he bothers me. I take that as a why would you call me unintelligent? Do you know how many men have converted to perpetual pay masters? Do you know how many men pay into my account every day? Do you think it's easy to convert men to pay masters? Standing before me this morning, you just contempt the rumors making round us true. marriage that does not happen in the mind must show the problem. I am not in a hurry to get married. I cannot see that. Just tell me what I mean. You see, my main business now is to see my father recover from his illness. And as long as he has not recovered, I am not thinking of getting married to him. You're the one saying this on the side of speaking. Yes, it's me. We, as princess, live operating the kingdom. Marriage is not my obsession for now. If you're so much in a hurry to give out your engagement ring, why not go out there and find another baby? She will be very happy to be your bride. I want to see the queen. Any problem, sir? I'm not very comfortable to that place. You're trying to make me fall out with you this morning. Why are you provoking me? I said I want to see the queen. Fine, sir. You have to wait while I talk to me. It's the intention to see you. That was excuse me. of the 
as if you really don't know the exact location of the Cuban capital. That is the truth. Huh? I never told you I know the location of the tree. I never told you that. I brought you here to see the car in the time when it came to sign the revelation of the car. Do you know, if you were not my uncle, I would have cursed you as a fool. You have cursed me already, I'm saying. I don't understand the sense in it. We've been wandering through this, this forest for God knows how long. And we still can't find what we're looking for the tree. So why are we here? Telling me you want that money to continue to quest to find the tree that is going to fetch you millions and make you a millionaire? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over to the kingdom and get somebody who can help me locate the tree. Get that rope off of your hand. Do you think they will ever listen to me? Promise money, promise millions of naira if I can find this tree. That's what I want to do. I need, I want to ask I need this money.
must have cost a fortune. That cost me a really sad fortune. I don't know what else to do to my sacrifices. Well, I'll be my suit. To give me something to do to me. Your Majesty, I want to get married to her in my sins. I'm confused as to why she has said She's just being a woman. I think she's planning to make you feel happy. That's what she means. But not to worry. Just give me some time. I'll work it. Okay? Princess Lane of kingdom. I wonder why you are sounding as if you don't believe me. Now why will you be thinking that way? She said the tree was uprooted many years ago before I was born. Yes. I already know that. All I need is someone that can take me to the location of this uprooted tree. That's all. But I don't know the location of the tree. I am a man of Odinago. And I'm here to tell you that you have the solution to the problem of this land. This crisis. Elders are meeting in secret places. With the sole aim of passing a vote of no confidence on the king, your father. You can prevent this from happening. Some well positioned men of this kingdom are holding secret meetings. To pass a vote of no confidence against the king. Are you one of the men that are planning to see the king? I don't believe you. Do you mean to say that you don't trust me anymore? Almost everybody is a Christian. Even those who don't go to any church at all. When they die, you find out eventually that they belong to a particular church. The leaders and the members of the church will gather together to bury them. But this woman of Ebenezer remains the only soul doesn't belong to any church. Countless number of times we, the members of the covenant, we will run into troubled waters in the bid to maintain our traditional culture and come to meet the same God to direct us.
something tells me we are making progress here. So how will I get to know this woman? My name is Akana. The moment to enter the village, ask any person to let you to the Then go and stop Akana because she hardly agrees to anything. I can authoritatively tell you that she is a good woman. But on the other hand, she is the most benevolent woman I have ever seen in this kingdom. She cannot sleep in your presence. She will not fall asleep yet in your absence. Go to Akana and be off to the village. She has instructions for you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I will keep you posted on every step of the way. Absolutely. Uh, one more. told me to take my engagement ring and give to someone a maid. That was what she told me. So what are you waiting for? That means she has already freed you to get married to another maid. Beat her to eat and marry another maid immediately. So there are many beautiful maidens in this kingdom that are scattered everywhere. Maidens that are more beautiful, more subtle, more attractive than this is Listen to me. If you have become so blunt that you cannot see any of them, the engagement services are now too wide. And they move with them. Every single land you see there are men that live in that land. And this is our land of privilege. I am a woman of men that live here. So we'll never have to be fair. I can't believe you are saying this. What would you believe? No, what would you believe? Or are you telling me that Princess Lady is the most beautiful? Is that, are you telling me that to my face? That Princess Lynn is the most beautiful lady in this kingdom. That is not the point. The point is, if I got married to some other man like this, how do I achieve my aim? That is the point. You are not seeing the idea of being king. King of which place? I'm going to get married to Princess Lane and I'm going to be the next king of this land. That's the plan. Ruby, I think the time is right. I'm going to pull my eyes because I can see you haven't seen her. Of course, kingship in Oriental Kingdom has started to rotate. As it rotates in almost all other progressive kingdoms. But the next king will not come from the village of this present king. And will not come from no village either. Kingship is rotating. If your reason for settling for Princess Lynn is because of this process you're listening, you better in time understand that you're wasting your time because it will happen. Wait. Are you insulting me because I came to your house? Why are you? Oh, Obin, I'm not insulting you. How would I? I knew you were that. Obin, that. I'm not insulting you, but I'm just telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And I want you to understand something. This man you are seeing here is here on your face. Oh man. That will never start something that he has no plan for day. That is this man. I know. 
essence you're telling me that this you are the proponent of this the doctrine of rotation of politics huh? okay. that everything that is good that ever started anywhere must have been done Whenever I look around, I wonder why we are cursed in this country. We are seriously cursed in this country. Seriously. That was harsh. How could you say a thing like that? How could you say that this land is cursed, Amaka? Please. Are you the only one in this country? If I should put it to you, this country is the most misgoverned country in the whole world. Amaka, how could you say that? Have you been to other countries to know how they are governed? Oh, have I been to other countries? Okay, take a good look at this road. The contract was awarded to Padat Holdings, a construction company owned by BCC OKK. The contract money has been shared, and the contract forgotten. In the books, this road has been constructed. But in real life, you and I know that this road is still a shadow of its former self. Chief BCC OKK is still there. He's whining. Dining with the governor. Nobody asks him question. Who won? Nobody asks him question of what happened to the money given to him to construct this room. Nobody. Amaka. What? Is that not Princess Leo? That was Leo. What is she doing with this woman? Princess Lee of Olenitebu Kingdom. What are you doing in Ume? I am looking for a woman called Akala. I don't know if you ladies could help take me to her. You're looking for stubborn Akala. Why do you want to see Akala, my princess? I must tell you immediately that I've not seen her before. But the fact is that there's something very important I want her to do for me. So I must tell you the truth that I will see her today. And it's a matter of life and death situation. Hmm. Life and death situation. Okay. I'll direct you to her. But my princess, firstly, I must warn you, Akala is an evil woman who doesn't go to church. Everybody believes she's a witch. And it's a belief that we all have that she's a witch. Well, I've heard all that, but I still want to see her. You still want to see her? Yeah. Okay. You're almost there. You just have to drive down. Then take your left. Count four houses. The fourth house is a house. Thank you very much. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. Your Majesty, she was emphatic when she spoke. She told the young man that marriage was not an obsession for her. Igwe. I know for sure that our daughter is seeing someone else. I want us to make her tell us who that new man in her life is. Because we cannot allow her to get married to just anybody. I agree with you.
Sleep and death have a striking resemblance. Wish of the two be accepted. I was asked to seek Madame Akala in the village. I humble myself before you. Please, are you the one? My name is Akala. They call me the stubborn Akala. And many have concluded a breach. Many avoid me. And most of the times, I see the men that parade themselves as masquerades in this town, running away from the sight of coming. It shows that the history of a Renitel kingdom can never be written without the human name. What do you want? When you said that my sleep and death has a striking resemblance, I presume you were talking about my father. Am I right? Now I know why I had that ambition. You are Princess Lena from Renitelu Kingdom. And you have come to make inquiry the same way you suspect. Yes, how did you know? <laughs> Let me get you something, Sita. You are a noble woman of this land. And I must treat you like a very important person. I will cook for you. Want to eat anything? No, I'm okay, ma. Thank you. This is just 1.30 p.m. 1.30 p.m. daytime and you've consumed all these drinks. If you are sure you are looking for the sacred root system of our little kingdom, then you have to buy me another bottle. And that will make it the eighth bottle I bought for you today. Does it mean that I was directed to you to be buying you drinks? Is it your business? Am I drinking with your mouth? Those that directed you to me, they were no fools. They know that I know everything. Just one more bottle. You have not misbehaved so far. So maintain. I don't want you to misbehave. Don't misbehave and I will take you to the tree you see. No, I say no. No. Take me to the tree first. Once I see the tree with my eyes, then I can buy you this whole bag. I want to see the tree. I am audible. I am not always in a hurry. That is why I am not a millionaire yet. Just one more bottle and I will take you to the tree. I wonder why you are calling a visitor that I brought to your shop. But make sure you don't say anything stupid. Make sure you say only what you do. Or you will leave me with no option. And to turn this miserable bar into nonsense. I will not be happy with it. Just to say anything stupid now. Sorry, but I don't understand what your business is. I have lived in this land for so long. I know a whole lot of things in this land. I know what you have. You see that man drinking with me. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't. But those that directed me to him said he knows. Person that can take me to a But you just heard me say that I know everything that happens in this land. I only know you. He has consumed a whole lot of alcohol there. Yeah.
know exactly what that thing told you. Yes. But I'm going to prove to him that before ever he came to this town and started answering all good time, we have been talking about it. And my boss had into pieces before him. You know what? make a mistake of appearing before Osisi on a day that is not a Kemake day. Men may do that at this. But you as a woman, don't ever try it. Why are you making this thing difficult for me? Why? I want you to go back to work on I tell him that he's a fool. Whoever taking that high on the go of the little kingdom, I don't know anything. Don't do 
Where did they? is written all over you. But I'm not going to do it with that. I want to know who directed you to the command. So are you saying you're not going to? Please, they all said you're agreed to. And I think I can see all the signs of greatness here. Please, I'm pleading with you. I need help. help. From what I gather,
want you to tell me the meaning of what you told me about it. But I told him the truth. The whole thing and nothing but the truth. If you put so much in a hurry to get married, then tell him to find someone else. Don't act like you don't know what you're talking about. There must be a new man in your life for this sudden change. So tell me. Sincerely, Mom, there's no man, no man anywhere, no man. You think I'm a child that you can discount? Who is the man in your life? Mommy, why do you doubt me? See, if there's a man out there, there is no man anywhere. Obina had planned to get married to me in circumstances. And you refused his engagement. That shows you're not ready. So I want you to tell me from one moment to the other, when are you going to marry me? You're not serious, are you? I'm very serious, Marcus. I can't come to you and tell you that I found it and I'm not found it. Okay, fine. So, can you take me to the place now? I wish it's my command. If you want to take you now, I will take you right now. Never make a mistake of appearing before Osi Singh on a day that is not a game market day. Men may do that. You are What you are doing. I don't like what you are doing. You hired me to bring your guy. That bitch, I'm not listening to me. Listen, I have this feeling you have a personal problem with that woman. I don't care. It is not my business. It's your business. You solve it. If you want me to continue buying you drinks, fine. But right now, I'm going to get those chickens so I can take to that woman and she will help me tap from the tree. That is why I am here. Here in this kingdom, 
There are other people who will be ready to listen to us and even do it at cheaper rate. Let us go and meet them. I'm okay with that woman. How can you be okay with the woman? You're okay with the woman. I was a person that took you to the woman. How can you be okay with the woman? Do you know the woman before? I was the person that took you to Akala, and I'm telling you that I want us to see other people that, that before we now take our final decision. I have taken my own decision, and that is final. See, I have a mission. I'm not here to play. I don't, I don't want distraction. Just, just hold on. Do you mean to say you now see me as a distraction? Okay, fine. Let's just cut this thing short. I have paid you what you asked me to pay you. Everything in full. If you do not want to continue the work, fine. Go back to the bar and continue drinking. Thank you. This is an insult. Eh? This is a big insult. A visitor who doesn't know his way around the kingdom is not saying nonsense because I've shown him what he came to see. We shall see about that. Is it not because of this Akala? If not for the ghost now, we can just come back to that shrine. I don't want anything of life now. Can I even be here? Can you swear by anything that you do not keep from the princess of my husband? Why are you talking this way? What do you mean? I warned you. I came to you specifically because I thought you were smart. And I warned you not to tell her my business. What did you do? I hold you responsible for all the insults I got at the palace. I'm really amazed at you this way. Wait, wait, wait. I really need to get something straight. Was it Princess Lin that told you that I mentioned your visit to the palace to her today? The princess did not tell me anything. But the structure I met on the ground gave me the impression that I had a prior notice of my visit. How can you look me in the face and deny this fact? Don't be mad. Why were you over nothing? Not nothing. Is that what you call this? Nothing? Nothing. I mean, you should be worried about the princess who is no longer thinking about you. And here you are asking me to deny, accept, swear, or whatever. That shouldn't worry you. You should think more about the princess and about all these things. Can you tell me who this new man is? I don't know who the new man is. So automatically, I don't know who the new man is. The new man is very dynamic and strong, and the thought of him has consumed. Now, you ought to have known that I'm not interested in money or I'm not that cheap. So, if you have to pay me for anything, the payment has to be based on something reasonable. You're not asking me to give you information about my friend. Why would you want me to come to your place? to you should be your concern and not being here saying all this please if you don't mind i would like to be left alone please Helen, i came to you because i know that you are smart and pretty good like you should be i suppose to be doing this together because you like i don't Asking me how to make Sure. No, wait, wait. 
Abraham. You are Obina and I am Helen. And I'm asking you to leave my house. Hmm. Okay then. If you know what is going on, leave it in my house. Watch your things. Why do you hate when you look at me so much? I beg your pardon. What did you just say? The instructions he gave to me ran contrary to the original instructions we had. I know you hate me. And I want to know why. Why? How many of you have this business respect me for now? How many of you? I mean, I spoke with him and I felt very bad. I don't know, but I think he knows you don't want to be. I think you're beginning to lose the time. Look into my eyes and find this. Lost a thing. No, I have never allowed such thoughts to cross my mind. Trust me. I mean, I know he's in love. All I'm concerned with is the fact that you now treat him like a stranger. Why? So, friends, how are you today? What exactly did you tell me now, Kate? Don't tell me he told you. He just left my place and he sounded as if you told him off. Helen, there are some people you know and you're happy. Why there are other people you know and you're very, very angry. Yes, but I don't understand the import of that statement. You see, Helen, I choose to remain single instead of getting married to such a character like Ovina. You're making a weighty statement. Why allow him to come this far? You should have told him all this while that you're not interested in him. Do you really want me to tell you? Obinu Kedge is a froster. But if you ask me, there's nothing wrong with that, honestly. So you have to know it's a froster. And you want me to be wasting my time with him? Bobby no KJ is into a whole lot of things. And if you don't like him, you should have told him all this while instead of allowing him to waste his time and now you're saying something else. What happened? Do you know what? If you want to be no KJ, if you want to be no if you want to go for him, you can have him for all I care. As in, you can go for him, have him for all I care. And I don't want to continue this call. I'll call you later. Princess? Princess? You see, Helen, there are certain things I want both of us to discuss in a more relaxed atmosphere. Perfect example, the African people. Sometimes you let yourself go back. Free yourself with exploring your soul.
stranger from Obinago had alleged that you can make some money here. I am standing here as a man of faith, asking you to open up and give me the details. But you surely cannot start the business of enriching people with outsiders. No, it's not done. You have to start it with those of us who have been rich all our lives here in this kingdom. Open up and give me the details. Don't pretend not to be hearing me because I know you are hearing me. Don't pretend not to hear me. You are hearing me. I want to tell you that I'm standing before you, a merchant, and I can tell you immediately that this merchant is very, very sharp. Open up and give me the millions you promised the stranger for open up, or you leave me with the option of putting you down. Hey. What to be stingy to me? Okay. I am going to count five. And if you fail to do something, I'm going to cut you down for it. Finally, I'm going to cut you down. The count starts now. One. What is it? Two. Three. Four. Four and a half. What is it? Open up and give me the millions. I'm about to count five. I'm about to count five. Five. Okay. You know what? Hi! Who, who are you? I'm a way of you. Maria de Leandro. Don't ever appear here. I asked you to stay with us. Why didn't you? I don't understand why you asked me to go to your house. Why would you want to see us in the house? We are responsible for the house. And what does that mean? That is, I want you to go to an international meeting. And that is why I asked you to come with us. If you come to me, I will help you. And that is all. going to continue like this, I'll start picking your calls. You are being groomed as this king of this kingdom, and I'll appreciate if you can talk like someone who is going to be the king someday in the future. Not all these things are said to me. You know, all I have to say to you is, good night.
I called her because she was really sexy. I want you to ask him to do this thing. Um, to the best of my knowledge, that statement means only but one thing. That a kinship would be rotating from one village to another village. And that is a noble move. <laughs> I see no reason you should make it look as if each year the Kobe Fair has said something that is abominable. Yeah, it's your good. It's a problem with you. Are you seeing the reason I will always tell you that this man is a show of ego? He's a great man. Are you seeing? This man here is a man that is not in the caliber of kings. Where are you praising Jesus? Hey. It's like you've been meeting in secret places and I've taken the vision of kingship already. Let me make one thing clear. We have a king in this land. And as long as that king lives, you worry should become sensational. Sorry, I have to cut in here. Point of direction. I believe you are seeing the group if you called us here to tell us something that you have never allowed him to say the reason why he has called us. Why are we discussing about what being like okay the first time? Oh you only please. Yeah, I want to thank you for this direction. It's a great way we have in this kingdom. When you speak, you know, men that are committed to the progress of this kingdom are always looking for the way forward. Okay, let me introduce my topic. Our king is up against the gods. He has offended the gods. He committed a secret abomination that is not going to confess to anybody. And because of this very, very hidden abomination that he committed, the gods inflicted him with incredible sickness. That is why he's suffering. That's why he's sick. And we need to move and pass a vote of no confidence on this man so that he, he will cease to be king. And from the way you know who started, it was clear to me that he has been wrong. I don't understand it. So I call this meeting this night of men that seek the truth for us to take up this matter. What is exactly the meaning of this? You know who say that we should leave the, the, the course to continue with what they have started to do. That is very funny. Very funny in the sense that we are talking about a man who the course are already destroyed. A man that is already up against the course. A man that have a man that that that, that, that committed a sacrilege. A man that the course are destroyed. Can you imagine that kind of thing? You know who is telling us that we have to do the man to do to him. That is madness. I don't understand it. The man is now already at the capacity level. Is it ever normal for such a man to be doing global normal to be attacking? Whatever they are they're very good. Very. We must pass a bit of no confidence. It's a bit you know who will make the monastery. We cannot do anything without this man. Yeah, but like, why? Why? You see the reason we always disagree. You understand when you open your mouth and begin to wonder where you're coming from. I just told you that you see, I just I just told you that you know why. That you know who is not willing to do the work and do. And they're telling me that you have to see that what you don't know what to do something. How can you do something like that? How can you be saying that kind of thing? You move up to the body. You know maybe. I don't want us to go into that. What I'm saying is that there is something. Something that we are going to do at this matter is so positive. Very simple. Tomorrow, we are going to take the deity, the oracle of our king to palace. We to present the deity to the king, and then we are going to ask the king to swear on the deity, to absolve himself show us that he is innocent of my allegation that he committed a secret abomination. But we are calling. If he swears and survives, we leave him alone and know the man has committed nothing. Then we leave the gods to continue what they are doing. But that man that I know is as an king. He is not going to swear. And immediately he refuses to swear tomorrow. That is automatic. You have to give us a vote of no confidence. I am compared to you. But you are not she got no secret. That is today. We are going to settle for that kind of deity because that kind of deity is the kind of deity we need in a time like this. 
we are not a bunch of fools that will approach the king with all this moe moe no moe thing this all this moe 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 orakul no 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 moe orakul we are not going to go for that kind of orakul we have to go with another I am not at all. I'll be with you. Whether feeling or whatever you are having, I will inform you what you have to come to our decision. And tomorrow we shall all gather in the palace.
always on the lies on the edges. Um, I have to stand up to say what I want to say. Oh no, I'm sorry I have to disagree with you here. Ichi Ego Bife is not the only one at least in the king. As we all can see that the king is suffering from an incurable sickness. And that means that the gods are up against him because of the secret sin, secret evil he has committed. He must swear to clear himself. And we fight the neighbor. He did it, man. We sit there now. We sit there now. He must swear. Who is there? Hello? 
you are the one that answered me. Why are you thinking this? And what are you doing here by this time that all air-bodied men are in their places of work and businesses? Awaka, I am working. In fact, I am the main person that is working. Where is he? Where is who? Don't make me look stupid. I have searched for him almost everywhere and finally something told me to come to you because you are the bomb. Where is he? Are you not talking in parables? Because I'm not getting it. Where is who? What are you talking about? Okay. A visitor came into this kingdom yesterday. His name is Anozi. And I know he slept here in this kingdom. And I'm really asking you to show me where he slept. Hold it. What are you trying to say? That a visitor came into this kingdom. And you're not asking me his whereabouts. What did you take me for? What are you saying? Oh, are you calling me a slut or something? You see, it is our kingdom. There is no other girl more beautiful than you. Mm. Eh? Is there any? No. In any other girl in the T.A.T. more than you here in this kingdom? The answer is no. Listen to me. Let me clarify you. A young man came in with a whole lot of money and he was spending money. Without any argument, he gave Akala exactly what she demanded from him. And I am asking you to tell me where he slept. I must tell you immediately that I've not seen her before. But the fact is that there's something very important I want her to do for me. So I must tell you the truth that I will see her today. And it's a matter of life and death situation. Now that I get you, was that why she was desperately looking for Akka? Just hold on. You see, here in this kingdom, I'm the only person that consumes a whole lot of alcohol. Are you also under the influence of alcohol? Meaning? Because I am talking about Anosi and you are telling me she. Who is the she? I'm talking about Mrs. Lee. We ran into her yesterday and she was desperately looking for Akala. And now you say that your stranger paid Madame Akala exactly the amount she demanded. Meaning that he actually paid for the Princess. Hold on, don't speak further. Abaka, are you telling me that Mrs. Lee went to Akala yesterday? Very of you have accused the king. Now the king has accepted that he will swear. <laughs> he has no option. Therefore, step forward and swear on the staff of the Oracle of Apollo. Are you sure? This kingdom is the only kingdom that we have that we can comfortably call our kingdom. And we must rise up to salvage this kingdom from this evil man. This man here, that is our king, is an evil man. He committed secret abomination against the gods, and that is the reason the world can see the particular disease. He is paralyzed. Does it happen anywhere that a man who is up against the gods? I want to say here and now that I am no longer sure of the allegation against the king. You are saying three of you had accused the king. So you must swear on this stuff. Before the staff of the Oracle of Apollo, leadership entails that men must be sure of what they want to say before they open their mouths. You have already accused the king, therefore, you must no longer be punished. Before the sick king, who is paralyzed, who does he represent the kingdom? Who is up against the gods because of the secret evil he committed? And holding the staff of the oracle of Apollo, I suppose that we 
Jesus. We all had what the priest said. They died on the staff of the oracle. I will go and arrange with the youths to come and evacuate the bodies of the bodies. I don't know how to say that. But I will never forget your support and wise counsel. Thank you. One thing I learned from my father is never to move before the gods. Destroy their families because they refuse to stop. And they're supposed to stop. Uh, I don't know what you think, but one thing I know for sure is the death of these three evil men is the best thing that ever happened to this kingdom. Yes. And that will make you look like a man from Obinaka came and said something very remarkable. I'm sorry, my princess. We surely cannot talk about men of Ubinako. Our concern is Goreni Telo Kingdom. Now I advise you to think about any other kingdoms besides ours. I was made to understand the Who told you that? His name was Ibn Jacob. And I was made to understand that he was such an outstanding king. So why then do we call them evil and inferior when their uncles ruled our land as king before? Why? Does he mean that you just cannot think at all? There was a man with Akala yesterday in our house. And that man actually paid Akala to think the princess for him. And the man is a total stranger from God knows where. And that was the reason why princess was going to Akalaza. It looks like if there is sense in what you are saying. But I don't know why I find it difficult to believe. So you're telling me you don't believe me? You know I'm not too 